Hi, I'm Mike from Three Big Friends. Today I'm going to show you how we built the trees on our various layouts using hinge pieces. Here's a couple of good examples. These are smaller scale trees than we normally create. There's a lovely autumn dark red tree. And here's a similar olive green tree. So you can see we've got them on hinges, they're on slopes, everything's movable, creates a nice tree structure. Okay, what we're going to do is create a blossom tree for spring using these pieces. These are the old traditional flower piece. They have a stud on the top, so you have to put them in upside down. I'll show you how the hinge works for that as we go. So if we start off and build the main foliage, so we take our piece and we take our one by two other bracket, put that on top and put the second one on top of that and that gives us a nice fan shape for attaching our hinge pieces. So the hinges, because we're using the blossom and the old fashioned flowers, we're going to turn them upside down and put them on. All the way around. On the other side as well. And that's kind of the trick to it. If you're using the new flowers which became popular through the Friends range, you can put them the other way up and you can use your tree limbs, your plant pieces the normal way up. But this is how we get away with having blossom on the top of the tree. Okay, so after that, what we're going to do is take these large pieces and we're just going to fill them in. Um, what I normally do is the first one, put that in there. And you can do them in any format, but try not to let them overlap each other. So, there you go. Okay, and one by one brown stud goes on top of there, and a two by one stud goes on top of there, and that holds it in nice and tight. Do that the whole way around. Okay, and there you go, so you've got your limb. Okay, and they can be taken at any angle you wish. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, and there's your two sides, as you can see, you can make them into a nice slope structure. Okay, this piece on the end, exactly the same thing, fill it in. One stud, two by one on the top, and that. So, from a tree point of view, this you would have a second one here, and the main trunk going through the middle, and you'd have a nice round canopy on this side and a nice round canopy on that side. I mean, you could, if you wanted, put another branch off here, going that way and go up like that. But we build big trees, so we like to have good um, coverage around the whole tree. Okay, so let's um, put that on the stalk first. So we're going to stick that on top of the branch, and then we're going to just, just for simplicity, we're going to just pin it in with a one by one, two one by two plates, and a one by four plate. Okay, and I mean, obviously that would be a tree there. I'm just doing that for to keep structure while we're working here. Okay, next thing to do is fill it with blossom. So they all go on wherever you want them. You don't need to put them on all of the branches if you like. But you have to remember this is just one level of the tree. It will fill out and it won't look quite so uniform as you go up. Okay, so there you go. So that's your one limb of the tree. Obviously we have these brown showing. The black ideally would be brown, but the brown is very hard to get in hinges. So I've used black and as you lay the tree, it doesn't matter too much because you don't notice it. So to disguise these limbs a little bit and to give it more foliage, just put smaller plant pieces on the top like that. 
go all the way around. Filling in, putting it whatever angle you like. down studs. Okay, just give it the last piece of blossom. Right, so that gives you your main tree structure. You can bend it to whatever angle you like. That's the limb of the tree. And this is how we built the trees that are in our ball show layout. If you want to check that video out. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, please watch our other videos. Please comment below if you've got anything to say. Thanks for watching. Bye.